Hey guys, this is Jeremy from uh, Fat Airlines. What's up, guys? I'm so happy you're all here. Uh, you guys are here for the comp, uh, for me to buy the Concord and the Comet. I know I'm pretty excited. I think a few of you guys are excited too. So what's up, Aviation LHR? What's up, Duck? Uh, how you guys doing? Uh, you can call me Jeremy or Fat. You know, both are fine. Um, Mass Casco, nice to see you, man. Guest 364, nice, nice to see you. Uh, Dead Eye 313, what's up, man? How you doing? How you doing? Um, Mass Casco. Oh, I want to read this message. Fat. When I watched you, why you want your cargo planes? Um, that's when Matt, Max Casco was like, "Well, I'm going shopping." Yeah, cargo planes are pretty uh, overpowered. You get like a lot of money. <laughs> and then uh, you know we got Manuel Hernandez. What's up? What's up? Uh, let's see. Did I miss anybody? I think uh, King. What's up, King? Congratulations. Uh, what's the congrats on <laughs> for unlocking the Comet and the Concord? Uh, we'll do that very soon. Uh, I think I saw CBMGYT here earlier. I saw Kai John. What's up, guys? Very nice to see you all here. So I know you guys were talking in chat. You know, what was your first uh, large plane? My first large plane was a 787. So I really like it. Um, plus, I wanted to do like an all Boeing um, fleet at first. But then I was like, there's so many good Airbus planes and other, you know, off-brand planes. Uh, let me just uh, get them all. <laughs> so here I am today. So what I want to remind you guys, because this is really important. The whole reason why I'm buying the Concord and buying the Comet is because there's this big sale where you get 30% off all airplane unlocks with silver planes. So what that means is that the Concord, the Comet, and all the other planes are 30% off. So I wanted to make sure I take advantage of this before the sale is up. Um, I'm doing it today instead of tomorrow because it's never good to wait to the last minute, you know. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here today. <laughs> Kai John asks, Fat, are you playing an LEJ? Uh, probably not today uh, because I don't have a lot of money in, in uh, uh, Le Leipzig. So... Uh, I can't afford the Comet. I can't afford the Concord at uh, LEJ. So, <laughs> Duck says, Fat, you look like you just woke up. Yeah, man. Um, I had a rough day. You know, I was feeling under the weather a little bit. I have a sore throat. Um, I've been just drinking water nonstop all day. So, I'm just trying to, you know, I'm just trying to exist. <laughs> Kai John, what's up? What's up? Aviation LHR says, I have two 332s, two 757s, and three triple sevens. Wow. That's a lot of large planes, man. Dead Eye says, love your vids, fat. So good to see a WOA streamer. I don't know any of any others. Hey, so there's World of Airports Gaming. You got Color Aviation. Uh, those are two other ones that I watch occasionally. I know uh, World of Airports Gaming, they do a lot of gameplay videos, whereas uh, my channel is more about tips, letting you guys know, you know, how to play the game better. CBMG says, if you get a Concord at your sand, I have a large at my Washington. You can send over your Concord to me if you do. Um, I got plenty of money at San Diego, so I'm going to get a Concord and a, a Comet there. So how many people do we have here in, uh, in chat today? Let's see. Let's see. I can't see. Will you guys let me know? <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do first is, you know, I know uh, oh, you guys want to see uh, LEJ, though. Some of you guys want to see LEJ. So let's do that first before we unlock the Comet and the Concord. So I made some progress in LEJ. I used about three gold planes because I couldn't uh, I couldn't just grind the W bucks. I mean, Wallers, excuse me. So I used three of my gold planes to get some Wallers. And what I did was I bought a few stands. You know, I bought a medium cargo stand. This small came with the airport. I bought a medium uh, passenger, another medium over here. I think this is a small and then a medium. Then I have a large stand for passengers, a large and extra large and then an extra large only. Then I went over here and I unlocked the terminal. So I only have one large stand. So everything else is, is yet to be built. But uh, I'm starting to expand, guys. It's going to look good. I'm uh, still figuring out how this airport works. But I know I asked you guys in my Discord, you know, how does the runways work? 
So it sounds like any plane landing here, any plane landing here will arrive and depart from this runway. But the ones in the south will land and depart or arrive and depart from this runway. I'm not sure because I haven't really unlocked much, but I'll let you guys know. Let's uh, take a look at chat here and let's handle some of these planes. All right, and while I'm uh, trying to catch up on chat here, <laughs> well, I want you guys to know, and I think Sloppy posted the link as well, is that we opened up a Discord. Um, that way we all can chat, you know, nonstop in the Discord. We could talk about World of Airports. We can work on connections. Um, and I also have a poll going on where I want you guys to vote on my color. We're going to stick with the blue, but I'll, I need a new secondary color. So we're going to see how that works. Um, so, and there's a couple other things that we have planned for the Discord. It's going to be a really cool spot. Um, you know, we have connection channels, uh, so that way if you're connected with me or one of my accounts, uh, we'll be able to kind of communicate that way. So, I really want you guys to check it out, and, uh, you know, we'll, we can chat over there. So, Duck asks if I can play uh, Nagoya. So, uh, yeah, I wanna, I'm want i going to play Nagoya because uh, I have enough money to buy a Concord. I have enough money to buy a Comet there as well. So we'll play some of that. Uh, King says he stopped playing because your phone broke. I got a new one and I'm starting new on iOS. Oh man, I'm sorry that you're starting brand new. Make sure you link your account with Game Center because what that'll do is that if you get a new um, iOS device, it'll carry over. So that's why I'm able to play on my, my iPad. I'm able to play on my I, iPhone, my iPad mini, all of that. Guest 364 is saying, I'm still waiting for the AN225 to be buyable. Yep, I'm with you, man. I, <laughs> I Every update, that's like one of the first things I check. Um, so I'm with you. Dan Cam Morrow. Hey, nice to see you again. Thanks for joining. Um, you bought the 752F for your cargo fleet. Yes. Dude, the $3,000 per flight. A+. Plus. Um aviation lhr can i send you aircrafts or not on stream um uh, eventually well i don't know what i'm actually going to be doing today you know i'm just going to be hopping around airports looking at you know how these flight pr uh, profits look for the concord and the comet um for other future streams i'll let you know in advance that way you know i'll tell you hey look i'm playing some innsbruck send me some some planes to my innsbruck and that way you guys can be featured essentially uh, during the stream that way too uh, and you're also up here too uh <laughs> 19 okay oh nice all right we're almost there um <laughs> captain pilot jerry hey man nice to see you thanks for joining how you doing today massive potato i'm not sure if i say hi to you but uh what's up man uh 21 all right ellen casco okay i got you max thank you thank you uh duck says he bought a large gate at prague and it's a game changer you might buy another yes buy buy the terminal that lets you unlock the x and l uh gates buy the terminal that uh lets you do all that it'll level you level you up so much faster you'll get to the next airport so much faster you'll make so much more money it just makes sense across the board plus the bigger planes are nice nice to look at <laughs> Aviation LHR says, I have 1 million wallers. What aircraft do I buy? I don't know what you should buy. Uh, I'd probably, you know, maybe uh, 346. I mean, what do you got unlocked? That's, that's a better question. What do you got unlocked? What's up, Toby? Toby's not shy today. <laughs> all right what is it what else what else you guys got um in nagoya i just started my fleet with small planes but i'm grinding for uh 44,000 for the bay 146 yeah man i think that's one of the better planes to get all right toby bye-bye 
All right, when he comes back, he'll he'll be on the. Uh, we'll get back to that view so that way you can see a nice nice big Toby. Cause I saw the stream last time, and uh, small Toby is cool, but you know a big small Toby is pretty nice. So I uh, hope you guys like that. Uh, so right now I'm playing some LEJ. Uh, who, if anybody asked, uh, whoa, uh -oh. I'm gonna miss my connection plane. Yikes. Wait, why am I going to miss it? Oh, it's a regular small. Whoopsies. All right, let me speed these guys up real quick. And while I'm speeding it up. Uh, do -do 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 -do. <laughs> guys, you guys are typing really quick. Well, I'm also just ch talking really long. Um, so Max, Max Casco says, you got your biggest fleet in San Diego. So you want to connect with that, you can. Nice. Uh, I think San Diego has my biggest fleet too. My favorite is uh, connecting with somebody to Washington from San Diego. Because like, you got 15 slots right there. Like, oh my goodness. That is a lot. I'm, <laughs> I overwhelm my partner with uh, with planes, the small mediums. I don't really send them too many larges or Xs. Uh, talking about uh, guest 365 says talking about some noticing. Do you remember in Bari? There's just one cargo stand for M. Well, they then they add three more for M. Yep. I actually didn't mention that anytime, right? So yeah, that, that was a game. That was a nice little update too. Because before there used to be one uh, medium cargo stand, which was uh, the last one. I forget what number it was. But now you can make all four of them uh, multi stands um, with small and mediums, which is an amazing. Nope. Bye bye. Sorry to my connection partner. I was uh I was in camera view and talking to chat. Never uh chat and do connections at the same time. All right, let's see. Uh, Kenneth Charles D Dimano. Hey, F says hey fat. What's up? What, well, first off, what's up, Kenneth? Thank you for joining. Um, hey, Fat, can you help me buy a plane? Should I say for an E-175 or an A319? I really like the E-175. It's pretty, it has a long range, too. Right now, the range doesn't really matter, um, but eventually it will. So I think having the E-175 would be a good benefit. But uh, you already have so many small planes that are unlockable right off the bat. You got the bay, you got the CRJ, and the AT-76. So... I don't know if, if you would really want another small, but the E-175 and the E-170 are pretty good. Now, with the A319, I think that's a really great plane, um, especially for its price. It's like 1,000 uh, Wallers more expensive than 1,000 Wallers more expensive than the E-190, and yet it makes more money per flight. So, uh, I really like it. Where's my terminal? I still haven't figured out this camera views. Here we go, I think. All right, Toby hype, Toby the gamer. I need to show you guys a picture of Toby playing Destiny 2. It's awesome. <clears throat> Aviation LHR says I have the 787, 777, 350, 340. Wow. <laughs> Alright guys. I'm gonna get out of LEJ now. I have to come back at 10 o'clock. I don't know if I'm gonna be on stream by then. I'm gonna lose my voice by then. Duck makes a good point. Duck says, best M plane for Innsbruck, my opinion, is the A319. Uh, yeah. It's easy. Like, waiting 110 Wallers to get to 110,000 Wallers to get the B, the 757, takes way too long. The Neo? Deadeye, why do you like the Neo? You're like the first person who told me that they like the Neo, so I'm really interested. Because Deadeye313 says, I like the A319. 319 neo personally so i want to find out excuse me
All right, sorry about that. Um, XXA Adrian Wiznaharja. Wiznaharja. Concord the best. Yeah, we'll get the Concord soon. Really soon. Kai John says, next update, they should add helicopters. Dude, that would be so cool. What, what kind of services would a helicopter need? What's up, Evander Evan Avriel? Nice to see you again. It's been a while. Dead Eye is right about the eight, uh, the E one ninety. Manuel Hernandez, why do your connection partners frustrate you? Um, you might want to check out our Discord because uh, the first thing, well, I want to find out why they frustrate you, but I know what frustrates me is when uh. You know how to put it they miss too many of my planes but like usually I, i'll send them pings if i'm like getting annoyed so at least that's why i want you to join the discord because then i can ping you so that way you know when planes are coming and that way you can also tell me like hey i'm on vacation like i'm not playing or hey i'm on vacation i'm playing all day that's me um let's see let's see all right guys so let's unlock the comet I know this is the plane you guys are, are least excited about, but we're going to do it. <clears throat> so you guys know there's this uh, silver plane sale going on where if you unlock a plane uh, with, using silver planes, you get 30% off. So that's the whole like motivation to this stream today is because I can get, you know, instead of using 100 gold planes, I can essentially turn 70 gold planes into silver planes and unlock it for 30% off. So that's what I'm going to do here right now. All right, it's done. Let's take a look at the liveries. So we have silver. How much does silver cost? 10 gold planes or 1000 silver planes. And then we have basic. Oof. Basic is expensive. <laughs> 25 gold planes or 2,500 silver planes. Damn. But it does have my name on it. I like that. That's pretty cool. Helicopter would. So what? 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 What livery do you guys think I should unlock? I might end up unlocking both, but which one do you want first? Let me know. <clears throat> Let me look at chat. Duck says the helicopter would need passengers, fuel, and etc. Gotcha. Cristiano says E-170. Yep. Guest 364 says Concord is nice, but I like big plane uh, for pick must passengers, not the fastest. Um, well, we'll take a look. You, you'll see what, what the profits look like and what the timing looks like. And I think, uh, I think we'll be pretty impressed. <clears throat> I hope. <laughs> hey, Ayo, it's Sean. What's up, man? Thank you for joining. Uh, he says, I just started my fleet earlier at LEJ and already got 10 sobs and going to try and make them profitable. Oh, that's a good idea. I should have bought some more sobs there. Mass Casco is laughing out loud. And guys, Sloppy uh, posted Discord link. Check out our Fat Airlines Discord where you can connect with me and connect with other people who are fans of the stream. CBMGYT says you do, really do send a lot of small and mediums from uh, my uh, Washington to your San. So that's right. Yep. Silver, silver, basic silver. Come on. Any any other choices? I know I probably should have done a poll, but I wasn't sure how much each of these uh, planes would cost. All right, I can do it in the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Bari. I got lots of money in Bari. I think I got lots. Let's see. Oh, no, I don't want to do it here because look at the price of this plane, guys. DH Comet. One million. And then I want to unlock, you know, I want to buy a, a Concorde. And that's 1.57 million. 
So I think I would prefer to have the Concord at Bali. So I'm gonna go to another uh, another airport to see what the, the Comet looks like. I know I don't have enough money at Innsbruck, so I can't really go there, but I am gonna grind at Innsbruck so I can get the, the, the Comet there and see how that goes. Guest says, I like the Comet, but it kinda doesn't have nice liveries. Yeah. Uh, same issue here with uh, with Prague. I guess I am going to Washington. Washington, I'm rich. I'm also rich at San Diego. I think I have a, a good amount of money at Nagoya too. Actually, yeah, I got. Let's go to Nagoya. Somebody wanted me to go to Nagoya too. I'm sorry, I, I forgot who it was. Basic, basic. Uh oh. Uh, aviation, I'm not sure what time I'm going to end the live. Um, it depends on how I feel. Right now, I'm feeling good. I only coughed once during the stream so far, so not too bad. Okay, I got 3.14 million here. So I can afford both the Comet and the Concorde. So this is good news. I can buy it. So let's check out the Comet first. We'll pick the livery later. Mass Casco says, I would do basic because it, then it matches with your fleet color, but I would do silver. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Like, I'll probably end up in, uh, unlocking both of them eventually. Just because, like, I mean, how many, well, they're just, unless they keep on adding liveries, then I just have to buy them, right? <laughs> Kai John says, the first time I was playing WoA, I would buy plane, planes and then sell it because I thought it was another way for gold planes. I think early on in the game that was a way then they updated with the economy update and then you can only sell it for gold planes at maintenance d and now you know they got rid of uh no that's not the right way to say it um gold planes are now only for purchase and instead anything that you earn is silver planes so 100 silver planes is equal to one gold plane and now with the silver plane sale I'm able to unlock, you know, these uh, awesome new, uh, you know, limited edition planes. <laughs> oh, I have a connection here. <laughs> AO is Sean says, you should just go with the Snow White livery. I mean, it's everyone's favorite livery. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess it's everyone's favorite, huh? No, I think lots of people are salty about the, the Snow White livery. Uh, CBMGYT, I'll let you know about the connection. Um, but for everybody, if you want a connection, the best place to go is the, the Fat Airlines Discord. Um, I'm not opening up any uh, connections to Leipzig yet because my airport's very small. Uh, I showed it to you guys earlier in the stream very small and if you guys send me too many planes i won't be able to handle them so i want to make sure i can handle them and make sure i can send at least you know a couple planes here and there to you as well to show you that i'm active you know that i'm playing that i'm here because otherwise you might forget about me uh max also asked okay so yeah um to san or muscat i think i might uh but take a look at the the the, the discord Massive Potato says, how much is 752F without silver plane reduction? Um, I guess somebody in the chat will have to ask or find out because I unlocked it on both of my accounts. I forgot how much it was. I probably should have like taken a screenshot. Oh no, I think I have a video somewhere on my iPad of when I first started with the new update. So I probably have it somewhere. But Massive Potato, one of the things I'm working on are airplane reviews. So uh, I'll, I'll get that information eventually and uh, we'll have an airplane review of the 752F. Okay, let's take a look at my planes. Where's my Comet? Hmm. 
There it is. All right, let's start handling these guys. Let's get this guy off of the runway. Let's see, who do I wanna send this to? I'm gonna send it to Ruben. Uh, that was Bari. <laughs> uh. Evander Evan Evriel says, I love update 1.5.0. I do too, it's pretty nice. Um, the dev developers do a, a pretty decent job every single update you know there's a few bugs which uh, i know gets annoying for some people especially like with that android bug people are running into that that's a big nuisance but uh just in general they, they tend to do a, a really good job here's my very first comment in the goya i love this camera view though what do you guys think about this view Elk2401, hey man, thank you so much for joining. <laughs> Guest364 says, when I see the B738F, I think they're going to uh, give it new cargo liveries, but it's just one and it's so sad. I, I know, even in my cargo video, right, I said like the 734, the main reason it's my favorite uh, medium plane, well, at that time, um, is because that has so many liveries otherwise i'd probably go with the one that gives me even just a little bit more money but uh with just one choice it's very sad very sad i got you cb kai john tomorrow i might ask for connections nice i just make a connection with myself evander says yep i did that with uh i have uh two accounts i have the fat recon which is my main account that's the one where i buy gold planes and and uh play with you guys uh and then I have my Fat Airlines account, which is uh, my free-to-play account. So I turned all my gold planes into silver planes. And now I have zero gold planes on my Fat Airlines account, which is pretty nice. So I'm playing for free, just like the rest of you guys. Uh, well, not the rest of you guys, some of you guys. So that way I know, you know how hard it is to grind for silver planes, because it can be quite a grind, right? All right, thank you, Deadeye. Deadeye says the 757F is 1,100 uh, silver planes before the discount. And right, thank you, Sean, too. Uh, Real Senju says, did I miss the Concord? No, we just bought the, the Comet. I'm taking a look at it in uh, Nagoya. Uh, after this, uh, I'm going to unlock the Concorde after we see what the profits look like for the Comet plane here in Nagoya. Nagoya doesn't have a lot of uh, short, short planes, small plane destinations. So I think it's a good place to really like kind of uh, get a comparison. Actually, do I have any? No. I wish I had like a bay on the ground. Well, maybe it'll come. Irvin Shirkit. Uh, sorry. Irvin Skirt. Send it to me, Washington IAD. I like 1.5.0. Nice. That's weird, uh, CB, about the Android bug. Uh, Elk asks, what are the liveries for the Comet like? Let's take a look. Uh, Shop. So we got the Snow White, everybody's favorite livery, right? We have Silver, which costs 10 gold planes or 1,000 silver planes. And then we have Basic. Which is 25 gold planes or 2,500 silver planes. I don't know who I'm going to send this to. Oh, Laurel Q. Yeah. Uh, I think it's too early. I think John Boy 24 quit. So sad because we're at 41. All right. Let's zoom in on the comet here. Oh, it doesn't even use the jet bridge. <laughs> I never noticed. I whenever even when I get them as special arrivals, I'm just like, whatever. Now I'm paying attention. 
because it has my name on it, you know? The Fat Weekend. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing because I read Manuel Hernandez's message that says, Wow, Fat, I don't see any computer planes. How many fleet planes do you have for Nagoya? I don't, I, I normally don't see any computer planes in any of my airports except for uh, LAJ because that is a brand new airport. And I used to have more. I sold 135 uh, gold planes worth of planes in my uh, in a stream before the update came out. So I have a lot of planes. Um, even like, uh oh, yeah. Even in the rankings, I'm like in the top. I think I'm number 11 in the iOS leaderboards for fleet size in this past week. So it's pretty cool. I play a lot. Irvin, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Uh, it says, I like your channel. Crafts, what's up, man? First DH Comet joined the fleet of the Fat Recon. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I want to see, like, if it is, like, I don't know. It, I feel like it, it, it's going to be profitable. I don't know. It might not be, but we'll find out. I'll be keeping track of it. Oh, what's the, what's the call sign? J.A. Hacks. <laughs> Short planes, duck. Yeah, short planes. Let's go. <laughs> Max Casco. Yep, I definitely have over 500 planes. This is good. I didn't even. I forgot that I had a connection at Nagoya coming in at this time, so this works out perfectly. I'm I'm doing a connection and I'm I'm checking out the comet. It's pretty quick though uh, for handling. Tall planes, fat planes, skinny planes, buff planes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know how many planes per airport. Yeah. Grande planes. All right. Real Senju says the A319 is the most efficient medium plane. The 757 is the third, third best right after the E190. I did the math. Nice. I still like the 757 though. I like big numbers up front. There's my comment. True, Deadeye. Deadeye asks, why can't they do this with small planes? Use a bus at a gate. Um, I think certain airports let you do it, but not in Nagoya. Like uh, in Muscat, you can have a small plane that uses a bus still. All right, guys. So here's the, t uh, the moment. This is the moment I've been waiting for, and I think some of you guys too. Let's take a look to see what the, the flight prices end up being for Nagoya for a Comet. All right, so a flight to Prague, which takes 13 hours. I think that's normal. It's about normal time for a flight to Prague for medium planes, so it's nothing new. 332. I think that's kind of low. I think that's really low. Yeah. Let's see. We got San Diego, 15 hours at 245 Wallers. Wow. So the time is about the same as like other medium planes, and the profit is like a small plane. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> small plane, short plane, short plane profits. Oh, there's new connections or new destinations I haven't unlocked. Oh, this is, oh, this is medium. I keep thinking this is small. All right, let's compare it with the E190. I'm gonna speed this guy up. And then uh, it's almost Concord time, guys. Guest says, fat, there are three bug types. One, annoying bugs. Yes. Two, hilarious bug. Three, a lucky bug. Yep. I know, like, uh, the annoying bugs, yeah, are, those are the worst. 
hilarious bugs um are like the um what's his name <laughs> billy <laughs> uh like that, that one guy who's uh marshalling and he's on the road and he gets ran over by a bus that's hilarious and lucky bug is like uh the the bug where you can get unlimited of one single type of plane so yeah they fixed that bug though Hey, Aviation LHR wants to know who here has the 777 in their own fleet. Let them know. All right, let's beat this up. Uh, Duck asks, how fast would it be if Comet used the jet bridge? So I'm pretty sure even though it doesn't use a jet bridge, because it's at a jet bridge spot, the, the timers are faster. So just FYI. Happens even with the small planes at like jet bridge spots. Even though they don't use the jet bridge, the timers are quicker at those locations. Wow. Real Senju says he has about 57 57s at Muscat. Wow. It's a lot. One second, guys. Max says Comet is just to show off, not for big money. Yep, that's why I'm not going to have a lot of these, probably. But I'm going to have at least one in each airport. That's uh, the goal. Irvin uh, Skirkit says, if you want to add me, all right, cool. Uh, join the Discord and uh, we'll take a look. February123 Gamer, what's up, man? Uh, says, I missed 30 minutes of the stream. Well, you missed me unlocking the Comet. Um... I'm comparing the Comet's prices or revenue with the E190. So yeah, it's definitely not for money. The, the flight times are about the same, but let's see, 950 to KCZ versus like 652. This is like a, a dash. And let's, let's go to Manila. I think that's what it is, MNL. 1249 versus 767. So definitely not for money. So this is the moment I was waiting for to send my connection plane off. All right. So I'm going to send this a short destination, a uh, short location here. I'll send this guy short too. And uh, we'll see what their fuel looks like later on. Let's see. Did I miss any? I miss plenty. All right, guys. Well, it's almost time for the Concord. I hope you guys are ready. Because we are going to unlock the Concorde in just one moment. I'm just getting these planes out to my connection partner. So that way I don't have to do it later. <clears throat> oh, I saw somebody ask the question. CBMG asked, um, can I still get infinite of a type of plane? Uh, no, that, that, that bug was fixed. I never tried to use the bug personally. But uh, lots of people have been saying that that bug does not work anymore. There we go. People are saying that they have the triple sevens. Nice. Aviation LHR asks, how big is your fleet fat? Um, Five hundred and nineteen planes in my fleet. And the top WOA player has sixteen hundred sixty on iOS uh, CBMG asks what update was the infinite plane type fixed that was in 1.5.0 duck waited 20 hours for the stream Met Scott is here for the Concord it's coming it's coming um, <laughs> worth it <laughs> Crass only has M planes okay the infinite bug is still there, Elk says. Okay. Now, I never tried it, but I saw people complaining that it was a uh, fix. So, um, hmm. Guest364 asks, wait, the Concorde is like 60,000 silver planes. 
how can you get this Concord? Well, I have 700 uh, gold planes. So one of the things you can convert the gold planes to is silver planes. So that's what I'm going to do here. So now I'm at 14,000. Gotcha. I'm going to have to figure out, like, to do, try that bug out then and, like, make a video on it. Unless I should keep it quiet. I, I don't know. You know, those are, that's a lucky bug, like uh, we were saying before. Oh, elk. That makes a lot of sense. Um, elk says people are forgetting that the North Pole is it's is an airport, so you need to disable it because with that bug, you need to disable everything except for one. And what's up, Speedberg Starbuck? Thank you so much for subscribing. Appreciate you joining. <laughs> Matt Scott says, pronounce your name. Um, it is the Fat Rican. Aviation LHR says, wow, how much was all of that? I think you're talking about my gold planes. Um, I usually just buy uh, 100 gold planes a month. Gotcha. Okay, CB. Thank you so much for clarifying. <laughs> uh, Max Kesko made a connection with Deadeye and he has to go handle some planes. Uh, well, Max, you got four hours to handle planes that are arriving, but I know, especially if the guy, if your if your partner is on and you have a short distance connection, it's better to handle them earlier. So I think you're doing a good thing. Uh, February one two three gamer says, should I try open connection? Oh, let's open up the Concord. What are we doing? Uh, should I try open connection at Bari with eight fleet planes? Yes. Uh, that's more than enough planes. I think like um, some people will start with like four or, or three or even one, but eight, you'll get connections done really quickly. <laughs> Duck. What does I even say? The the fat elkin. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, but elkin. What what is that? Oh, it's a typo. <laughs> The fat p patrician, uh, yeah. Some people say pediatrician. I uh, like. Uh, there's no D, but people will say it. <laughs> All right, we're almost there. I gotta work hard to get these sixty, uh, sixty thousand, sixty-nine thousand, nine hundred uh, silver planes. It's, it's hard work. Um. <laughs> Guest 364 says, oh yeah, there are a bug called plain view bug found by me in Prague. And that's a lucky bug for professional screenshot, but it's annoying for managing airport or gameplay. Yeah. Oh yeah. I remember that. I think they fixed that with 1.5.1 though. Let me know if the, the bug you're talking about is fixed. Cause I think I know what you're talking about. Cause I was, I was excited for a moment too. And then I, first, I thought it was just a, a built in functionality, just that. It, it, it got locked and the locked part was not built in and not correct but it turns out they, they just they just messed it all up they well they, they locked it in a different way he isn't that fat hey i think i am pretty fat pretty cool fat reekin city what's up bub Ugh. Can you speak? Can you woof? So everybody, this is Toby. Um, I guess he's not camera shy today. You gotta look over here, bub. Yeah, look at the camera. Over here. Yes, look at Toby. Toby's gonna help me get the Concord. <laughs> Squishy planes, Toby planes. Checking parent says, I have a bug in which I can't sell two airplanes. That is interesting. What happens when you try to sell them? Is it like grayed out or uh, what happens? All right, we're almost there guys. I'm at 54,000 uh, silver planes. 
Oh, yeah, it is Toby's birthday, too. I didn't get him anything. I'm a bad uh, dog uh, dog parent, I guess. Happens. That's why he's coming here so often. He wants his uh, birthday present. Toby, buy the Concord now, guest says. <laughs> Toby definitely is Richard and Jeremy. I work so Toby can eat, you know? Toby just sits at home. It's awesome. I gave Toby extra treats. Yeah! Thank you, Slappy. <laughs> uh, February 123 Gamer says, In the future, uh, will there be more discount offers for unlocking fleet planes? Because I don't have enough silver planes to unlock one L plane before the end of the year. Um, <clears throat> this is the first time they've ever done a silver plane discount, so it's hard for me to really say for sure. Um, but this is because this is the first time we've seen it. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you see other discounts coming in, like ten percent um, livery sales, you know, things like that. But uh, nothing. I haven't heard anything from the developers uh, about this. I haven't read anything about it. Just the uh, you know my own thoughts. Thank you, uh, Sean, for letting him know about the, the bug. Yeah, smash the like button. I always forget to say that. All right, I'm at 69. Uh, I need 900 more. <laughs> He's teasing us. <laughs> I kind of am, right? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I think it's done. Yes. All right, let's take a look at the liveries here. So we got Snow White, that beautiful Snow White. We have Basic. Basic costs five gold planes or 500 silver planes. We have Stripes, which costs 10 gold planes or 1,000 silver planes. And we have Triangle. 10 gold planes and 1,000 silver planes. Not too bad. I'm going to make a, a poll for this one. I got to make sure I can spell right. Triangle. All right, there we go, guys. I'm going to have this poll running for 10 more minutes. So at the top of the hour, uh, whichever one's the top one, I'm going to go with. So make sure you uh, take a look at that poll and uh, put in your vote. Let's check out the Concord. Let's go to Washington and let's check out the, let's buy a Concord there. Let's see what the de uh, destinations look like and uh, see how, you know how fast it goes. Uh, I know the Concorde's supposed to be a fast plane, and let's see how profitable it is too. All right, let's buy it first before I start handling planes. Shop L, Concorde, Snow White, purchase plane. Oh, now I have to have plans la land. So plans, planes, planes land <laughs> massive potato fell asleep well i think you woke up in time for the uh, concord guest I, I can't wait till the beluga and like all these other cargo planes um are available for purchase too that that'll be exciting but I don't think, uh, well, I don't know what their plan is for that. I don't know who I'm going to send these to. Uh, I know, like, this connection guy. I don't, uh, I forget who this is. I have it written down somewhere. But, like, this is a hard name to remember. I got a connection to myself. Yeah. I got a connection to CB and to Funk Punk. I think Funk Punk is from Instagram. And guys, if you're on Instagram, check out Fat Airlines on Instagram too. I need to add it to like my my links and stuff. But uh, I've been posting on there a lot. I know some people uh, prefer chatting there. I, I don't. I'm really slow to respond on Instagram. 
But uh, if you want to take a look at some pictures and stuff, that's another cool place to, to connect with me. Sloppy wants to see the options again. Let's do it. So we got Snow White. We got Basic. We got Stripes. And we got Triangle. I wish there were more options, but like, honestly, how many people really have the Concord? Like, they should just spend their time with, you know, the 738F. That one only has uh, Snow White and Basic, by the way. All right, the Concord's the next one to, la to land. <clears throat> Okay, uh, Aaron Borson, hey man, thank you for joining. I uh, really appreciate you being here. And uh, your question, it's a good question. Which airport did you find was the uh, biggest grind to unlock? For me, that was the Nagoya. Nagoya was hard for me to unlock. I don't know why. I think my strategy was off for that airport. I think I focused more on small and mediums. Um, but it just took forever to get to the one one million passengers so I could unlock San Diego. Whereas like Washington, it was like uh, it felt quicker in Washington than it did in Nagoya. But my strategy now is to build the L and X gates as soon as possible. That way you can uh, level up faster, get more wallers for each handling. And that way it's just it's just a better experience overall. You know, you have the small and mediums come in here and there, but, uh, you know, less clicks because they take like 10 or 20 minutes to handle. So you just click on one thing, you come back 10 minutes, and then it's time to click on something else. Very cool. So this is my Concord, guys. Pretty exciting. So we're going to handle this Concorde. We're going to look at the flights. I probably should have kept the, one of those large planes sitting there. That was a silly of me. Oh. <laughs> oh, this SF-34F. <clears throat> I really don't like it. The timer is only two minutes long, so if like I get distracted or I have a bunch of other planes I need to handle, like I never, I almost never handle this plane on time. Right now I will because I'm, I'm looking at it, <clears throat> but most of the times I don't. All right, let's change my camera to tower two. Oh yes, I got a 777, or 787, sorry. Okay, so it uses the jet bridge, no bus. It uses baggage. Uh, some of us already know. Let's look at the fuel. Okay, toilet. What is that called? A lavatory and water. Ah, oh, my 787, I can't send anywhere. <laughs> But it's all right. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will see a difference right away, especially with the, the times, the, the travel times, like the speed is incredible. And guys, we have five more minutes for this poll. So I want you guys to take a look. Which uh, livery um, am I going to unlock for my Concord? Is it going to be basic? Is it going to be stripes? Or is it going to be a uh, triangle? Make sure you vote. Aaron Borson asks, um, which other features are you looking forward to in later releases? Um, contracts. I mean, well, 
I, I'm really looking forward to alliances. Uh, alliances, I feel like, has a lot of potential, and uh, I'm looking forward to being able to like start an alliance and play with you guys, um, and like have you know like a Fat Airlines alliance where we're all just working together and like building up our fleets. So that'll be pretty cool. February 123 gamer says, uh, "What? I haven't seen the stats for Concord." So here we go, 360, uh, 1,500 uh, knots, and 3,900 nautical miles. And let's compare that to the A350. So it has fewer seats, um, it's much faster, and a smaller range. What about the 787? 787 has uh, more seats. Real Senju says, keep the Concord in its OG look. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's easy to do, right? <laughs> Kai John says, this is too much flex. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> I do it for you guys. Um, also, I really wanted it ever since uh, they made it available for purchase. Because it used to be where it was locked. Nobody could get it. Except for like early supporters like of their Kickstarter or something. Um, and then uh, an update came out where they made it a thousand uh, gold planes and I was like, you know what? Fine. I'll grind. I'll get to a thousand. I'll buy a hundred gold planes a month um, And then I'll get it in you know ten months at the very slowest and then the sale came along So the sale made it really easy for me to be like, all right, whatever. I'm buying it right now What airlines, Massive Potato says, what airlines bring the most in, in Washington? Um, <clears throat> most of medium planes, I would say. Medium planes are bringing the most amount of money for me. There's so many like short, short connections here. And you get like 2,000. Let's see, let's see. Aaron Borson says, I'm finding San Diego is slow just because of lack of L and XL. I, I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I found San Diego faster because the taxi time was so quick that I was just like constantly handling planes. But I could totally see where you're coming from with that too. Because uh, the L and X strategy doesn't really work there. You just got to handle and handle. Flights for the Concorde will be shorter than its handling time. Real Senju says that... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We're about to find out soon, real soon. I know I could speed it up too, but I'm enjoying looking at chat. A lonely conqueror. It needs it needs a friend. Concord in real life holds around 100 people. So they probably did that for uh for balance purposes. Cuz otherwise I don't think well, <laughs> the Concord wasn't profitable, right? So <laughs> Aviation LHR says, would you ever buy more 350? Yes. Um, I like to have what I, well, I, I'll end up doing is I go to my fleet here. And if I have a plane at, like that's not at maintenance A, that means it's time to buy another one. So like I'm not going to buy another A332 because I have one at maintenance A. I might, you know, 343. 350 is almost at maintenance D. So I'm definitely going to have to buy another one here. But uh, I always try to have a, at least one or two of uh, each type of plane. Look at this guy. I can get some silver planes. This C-17, the white one, is my long distance C-17. I send it far and wide. Well, I noticed too at these jet bridges. Look at look at the clock, right? Three thirty-six, five, four, three, two, one. 
zero, like the fuel is so much slower than the actual, you know, one second. So I think that's a bug. Arian Borison says, I, I love how the game has developed across the years since release. Love the smoothness of the graphics. Would be cool to see better weather effects and just more sounds. I don't even play with the sounds on, but uh, <clears throat> weather would be cool. I think uh, that in every once in a while in the official World of Airports Discord, they have um, asked the developer open. And in there, they wanted to do some, uh, they, they said they want to do some things, especially with the mini games. Uh, like wind has a better, a, a bigger effect with the mini game and stuff like that. So uh, it's in their, their, their vision, uh, just probably about the coding and stuff like that. This coding's pretty hard. Kai John was agreeing with me about the small plane <laughs> and how like it's hard to handle them on time. Thank you, man. Didn't you <laughs> guess that's funny? He said, oh yeah, there are bugs around uh, ground vehicle doubling when handling. It's so hilarious. Like, they need more fuel, more passengers, <laughs> more food. Yeah. <laughs> They're going around the world. <laughs> Stuck in Prague. <laughs> uh, Aaron Borison asks, would you change the runway priority? Or when is the best uh, to change the ratios? When I'm first starting, I'll probably do three to one. Um, if I'm, it really depends on the airport. Uh, like in Prague, now uh, what I like to do is two to one. And then I'll sit at runway camera and let planes line up every once in a while manually. I do that so my cargo planes can reach their gates. Because the cargo gate is right there where the planes leave for their departure. So if I have too long of a queue, then all my cargo planes are just sitting in queue to get to their gate, which is a mess. And I don't like that. So that's what I'll do. Um, in Nagoya, I tend to do three to one almost always. And I do the same thing with the lineup. Uh, but Nagoya gets really backed up really quickly. Um, so I tend to do uh, when it gets really backed up where my cargo planes are kind of not getting to their spot again. That's when I'll go back to one to one. Uh, where else San Diego three to one is fine you know there's such a long um, space between where the runway where they enter the runway for departing and where the cargo gates are that it's almost never uh, filled up there so that's fine my Concord's ready guys are you guys ready Duck, I hope you're okay. Duck fell out of his bed. Uh, yikes. <laughs> Alex X said, looking at the Kickstarter, some of the perks look sick. Uh, I need to take a look at their Kickstarter. Aaron Borson asks, what device are you running on this? I am using an uh, Apple I iPad Pro 11-inch, the 2021, no, no, 2020? It's not the one with the M chip. Um, M1 chip. I think it's 2021. No, no, 2020. It's 2020 Apple iPad Pro 11 inch. What is your most popular plane in your fleet? Aviation LHR asks. Uh, it is the B757. I have that more than any other plane in every airport. It's usually like my number one. Okay, Fat, is there any tips on Nagoya? I'm about to unlock Nagoya Kai, and uh, when I do, I'm going to do a stream on that on my Fat Airlines account, because I like starting a brand new airport on stream, because it really shows you guys, it's it's not, it's, it's hard to start up a new airport, and uh, it takes some time, but uh, my strategies right now are to get the large and extra large stands as soon as possible. I forget what terminals you need in Nagoya, so it's really hard to give me uh, for me to give tips right now. But I'm gonna unlock it really soon, and then uh, just join me on that stream. 
I'll post it in the Discord, and it'll be a heads up in uh, in YouTube as well. I'll try to schedule it. Oh, snap. Thank you, Kai. <laughs> I need to end this poll. I think Stripes won, though. So we're going to unlock the Stripes uh, a livery for the Concord in just a moment. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Duck, for reminding me. <laughs> Uh, February wanted me to make it 20 minutes. What did you vote for? Uh, did you want triangle? <laughs> but it's pretty close. You know, the stripes got 46%, triangle with 30%, and basic with 23 So eventually, I'll, uh, we'll take a look at the other, uh, liveries as well. Because what I like to do with the liveries is, uh, use it so I can understand where I'm sending each plane. So I think with the Concord, I'll use, like, a Snow White for... You know short distance routes so i can see what the profitability is on that with the, the the one with delivery i'll send that to my connection partners so that way they can enjoy a concord with some color in it jansen what's up man uh good morning or night from the philippines well uh i think in the philippines it's good morning for you and over here it's the uh, evening so uh hello energy boost uh, World of Harbor. Oh, that's what guest uh, 360 says. 364 says, I wish they were going to make a new game called World of Harbor. Duck voted for stripes. Oh, Jansen stripes. I'm at the... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, guys. I clicked it. I clicked it. So, San Diego is normally a four-hour flight. Turns into a one-hour 18 flight. And Bari, I think that's like a 12-hour flight or something. So Bari is like a 12 or 10 to 12 hour flight and uh, turns to two hours and 44 minutes. Nagoya, uh, I think Muscat is like a 15 hour flight. Turns to four, uh, four hours instead. Wow. Uh, Newark is a 22 minute flight and it turns to three to seven minutes. Uh, let's see what the furthest destination is. I think Muscat's the furthest, right? 6,300 nautical miles. Wow. For 10,000 nautical miles, it's eight hours still. I think that's because it's outside of its range, right? Or maybe just because it's not a connection. Oh, right here. That's where it really spikes up. What's its range? 3,900. Huh, I don't understand. Maybe it'll make more sense later on. Send it to Newark. Nah. <laughs> Sloppy says I voted basic because I'm basic. <laughs> If someone offered to pay $1,000 now, do you think the dev team would make a custom airport for you like they offered in the Kickstarter? I wonder how long it would take them. I'd be interested, but uh, well, 1000 I don't have 1000 to to drop for an airport. Not yet. Yes, we got the Concorde. Me talking. <laughs> Layover. Oh, that's a good point. Real send you. Layover is the reason it takes a delay. That makes a lot of sense. I want to compare the times with this A350. So let's, uh, I'm going to speed this guy up. The handle is red. I know. It'll happen. I'm going to lose some levels, but I'm going to, um, reach max level eventually. I missed the plane. Well, if they're you're on your own fleet, they'll just automatically land. If they're a player plane that's a, in your arrival queue, um, then they're going to leave. But if they're a computer plane, they'll also automatically land. So the only time um, that you should really pay attention to your arrival queue is when you have a, another player's plane in there. Because that's when it'll just leave. It will it won't even land. Or it might land if you have a ooh, open spot.
Oh, see, it's not red anymore. All right, you're going to Philly. See, I know these airport codes because these are local. Yeah, EWR is Newark. Um, Aaron Borson says, next playable airport you want. Um, I want something in the southern hemisphere. I, I, I That's really like my big, my only request. So like something in Australia, like Sydney, um, something in South America, um, maybe Brazil. I, I have no preference there. And then, uh, or in something in Africa, South Africa airport would be pretty cool. But uh, something in the southern hemisphere would be nice because there's uh, other airports around there. And, you know, just like a little bit of variety. Can you send a Concorde to Nagoya so I can handle it? Yes, I will. <laughs> it's a good idea. I'm just speeding up this A350 so we can compare the times and uh, the prices uh, right next to each other. <clears throat> uh, Jansen says I'm currently have enough airplanes uh, silver airplanes to buy a large aircraft any tips um, so I like the 306 because it's so cheap um I like the 787 because it's like kind of balanced. Um, you know, it's not too expensive. It's also gives you a nice profit per flight. And then like the the 333, 343, and the 346, um, those are also really good. Um, I would probably lean more towards the 346. But honestly, I mean, most of them, if you're sending them all, if you're sending them short distance, they'll be profitable. If you send them long distance, uh, not so much, especially with the smaller planes. The smaller planes, you're going to lose money on long distance flights. So it's what you want what, what to accomplish with the large plane. Are you using, for, using it for connections? Then maybe go for the 787 or the 343 uh, three or 346. If you're going to use it just for uh, sending to like close destinations, then the A306, 332, those are great planes. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at this. Alright, so San Diego, four hours, right? Muscat, 13 hours. So 13 turns to four. But the profit per flight is not a lot. So I get, uh, let's see, it's a Nagoya because that's where I'm going to send it to. Um, 3,647 compared to. 8,468 per flight for the A350. Granted, the A350 has a lot more seats than uh, the Concorde, but even still, um, even if I were to go with a smaller plane, I'm pretty sure I would have something, a similar disparity in numbers. Yes, I would love to see an updated uh, 777 and a uh, 757. All right, we'll send this over. I'm going to send you both. I don't know if you'll be up in 12 hours, but. And the code is NIMP. 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 N-I-M-K. <laughs> Can't even say it. There we go. It's on the radar. Nice. I'm glad this will be your first ever player Concord. That's awesome. Aviation LHR, would you send me an, uh, the A350, please? Okay. Oh, you got a Concord. Jansen got a Concord from Kubasan. That's awesome. Uh, yep, from a dev. I used to get them a lot when I was uh, when I first started playing. Now I don't really get them too often, but now I can send them, so it'll be pretty cool. Probably because Kubasan's connection partner probably handles those planes. <laughs> Duck asks, why did you name your channel Fat Airlines if people are going to call you fat? P 
pH? I don't know. <laughs> I made the I made the fat Rican um, back when I was like ten. I think I stole it from someone else, and uh, that was like my my username on AOL Instant Messenger back then, and it's been my username ever since. And that was like twenty something years ago, so that is why I am Fat Airlines. Please call me fat, but don't call me fat with an F. <laughs> Aaron Borson uh, gave his uh, username there. Cool. Guest 364 says, asks fat if they add um, eight and 12, a passenger's type, do you want to buy it? I want to probably, um, I want to buy every plane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy every plane just because I'm making videos and it's uh, helping out a lot of people. And uh, I, I think the developers also uh, could use the, the assistance. I don't know if you guys have seen their t the tutorials, right? Um, but there's a lot missing. And, you know, that, that's one area where I, I'm helping fill in the gaps with some help from you guys as well. So it's pretty cool. Uh, Real Senju asks, how much do you generate with the 747F? Do I have one landing? No, I don't have one uh, here at the airport yet, but uh, usually, well, I only send my, well, I send my 747F short distances for the most part, and I get about 12 to 13,000 uh, wallers per flight, and that's the shortest flight. I'll also send it to like long distance connections if I'm like working with a connection partner in San Diego. Um, San Diego only has those four gates, you know. Um, for X and L planes, so I like to send them cargo planes too because they have two of those X and L cargo um, gates, so that way they can uh, handle all of them at the same time. But uh, those flights get like ten thousand wallers. Yeah, I used to be skinny back then, duck. <laughs> I need to cough. Jansen asks, the cargo A306 is cheap. Is it profitable too? I don't know. Um, it seems like it's, I mean, I think all cargo planes are profitable if you send them them short distances. But with LEJ, if you guys, I'm, I'm going to pull it up real quick. But if you look at LEJ, you'll see most of the destinations for the large and X planes can only accept... Well, this is a this is a connection. One departure. What, tw Twenty. Damn. One. Zero. One. 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 So yeah, it's gonna be interesting playing in uh, LEJ because I'm gonna be forced to send some cargo planes long distance if I have a big enough fleet. So we'll see how that works and that'll help with uh, understanding the profitability of each of the planes. But I think having uh, each of the, having a 306 cargo, uh, 306 F is uh, going to be profitable. That's my, my first thought. Haribo. Duck loves sleeping upside down. I think Duck's a bat. Aaron Borson, uh, join me in the Discord and uh, we'll get you connected uh, to San Diego. I think I have an opening there. Uh, Duck's not a bat. Yeah, we can give uh, Toby a pretzel nugget. And thank you, Sloppy, for uh, posting that link. 
there's a discord link that's where i'm going to work on uh you know connections i'll let you guys know when i send planes um especially if you're not handling them i prefer not messaging you every single time just fyi i just kind of just send but if there's a if you prefer me messaging you i'll try to do that or if i notice that you haven't handled my plans in a while then i'll send you a message but it's kind of tough when i don't have a way to get in contact with you um i mean you can join me on stream so that'd be awesome but then i can also let you know what time to send your planes because i want to have your planes featured in these streams too so it'll be really cool oh snap you're in the uk so what time is it there it is 1 30 a.m Damn. good night man and thank you for joining us here today okay so i showed you guys with the departures you know with one well this is a, a, a maintenance spot so it doesn't count you know one 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 everything's one one departure one departure so i saw this the other day and i was like wow that's going to be annoying, but it's also going to be fun because then I can have long distance planes. I can have short distance planes and really understand how uh, cargo planes function and, and how they profit because a lot of people are kind of annoyed that cargo planes don't make money. Um, well, that they lose money compared to on a, on a longer flight versus a shorter flight, but I think it, it really doesn't matter. I think they'll still kind of be mostly profitable. Yep, everything is one. I think you guys get the, the picture. All right, we're going to go to one more airport. Um, do you guys want Bari or do you want um, Prague? Do you want Nagoya? Muscat? No, I can't afford a, a Concord at Muscat. Not yet. Um, so, Bari, Prague, Lagoya. Uh, let's see. Kai John, we'll do San Diego uh, another day. Guess 364 wants to see in. I'll show you in at the uh, when we're done. So let's go ahead and send this to my LEJ partner. I think I'm going to get one of their planes. Okay. I need to pay attention because, well, I need to pay a little bit of attention because I'm going to get some uh, connection planes coming in. I can't be like in Washington where I let everything go red. I'm level 11 already because I've been working on that connection to LEJ. So uh, let's go ahead and purchase this Concord. And we're going to unlock the Stripes livery because Stripes is what won. And we're going to go ahead and purchase it. Yeah, I have a lot of planes. You're right. But it's pretty cool because by the time I see a computer playing, I know I've been playing for way too long. <laughs> all right, I'm in Prague. I saw, I see all you guys post. Um, I see you, I see you. Typo ad is fine. Oh. <laughs> I remember where you told me, uh, so uh, guest says, remember the place where you, I show you the location of the truck by, stuck by the stair? Um, I, I saw your screenshot, but I, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I think I remember now. Oh, look at that. I'm excited to see it in blue. Next update, they should add 50 airports. Uh, 
I really, I, yeah, that, that would be cool. I mean, one of the cool things about this game, too, is the radar. And, like, you can literally see, like, all your planes that are traveling. So, right now, I put, you put your name on the top left. Um, I have my name already in there. And you can see where each of your planes are going. And you can see when the planes are coming back. You can see when your connection planes are coming in. It's so like in Muscat, I have a plane coming in at uh, like 10 p.m. Look at all my planes leaving. It's pretty cool. You can uh, find this at worldairports.com slash radar. Um, it's, it's live. It's real time. So it's really cool. Back to me. Here is Mike uh, 0480. He's on the official Discord, um, my connection partner. Then we have another one of his planes coming in. Or do I have one taken off? Yes. Yeah, world at airports.com slash radar. I have so many planes. Um, that the, the in-game notifications are completely useless to me because you get notified every single time a plane comes in um, whether that's your own or if that's a, a connection partner and I have 500 something planes right so that's going to it, it, I just get notifications non-stop so I have to use the, the radar to really see when my connections are coming in it's only it's only good when they're still pending once they're waiting to land they don't show up on the radar so for those short distance connections i'll still log into the game and click on this little radar right here but for the other game or for the long distance connections radar is so clutch uh let's see I had a DC-10, I had MD-11. I don't know if they're going to add those. It is on their um, potential list, though, I think, right? If you go to the, the feedback site, if you go to worldairports.com and you click on feedback on the top, you can see like their what they have planned for the next update and what they have for potentially uh, for the future. Caribbean Airlines, I would like to see that, yep. Jansen says, I'm currently playing Nagoya, maybe later Prague. I, yeah, I play all the airports because, like, you get silver airplanes from every single airport. So you might as well play it because um, that's like, well, I think of it like free money. It's not free money, but it kind of is. All right. I think it's Concord time. I only have, so I only have gates with jet bridges that are available. But you see this, 320, 127, 753. So we're going to have it land right here at 23. Clear to land. And let's watch it. Oops. Look at that. Um, Stasberger Mert says, Hey, mate, you have an IAD uh, spot available. I have a medium plane. Hey, Mert, do you have a larger X gates? Because uh, if, if I get a connection to Washington, I'm going to be sending a bunch of large and X gates. And I know I know you're grinding Washington, so I'm, I'll be happy to help you, man. But I want to make sure you can handle the planes, especially if I send you uh, large and Xs. Ethan, uh, what's up, man? I am good. Thank you so much for joining. I think uh, this is outside of your hours, right? West Papa Ball. Hi, I'm late. Yes, you are late, but not as late as you were the other day, right? Now, <laughs> now you were here on time uh, the other uh, the other show, but uh, yeah, you're late. We unlocked the comet. We unlocked the Concord. Now we're just looking to see what the uh, 
the profit looks like for the Concord in Prague. Uh, we saw what the profit looks like on the Comet in Nagoya. Nagoya only had uh, the Comet. It looked like a small plane with its numbers, um, like only 600 wallers per flight, uh, maybe 700 at most. The Concorde, uh, it's you're not making a lot of money per flight, but the times are drastically reduced. So we're gonna take a look here to see what the, the timing looks like on the Concorde here in Prague, and uh, we'll go from there. So CBMG did the math, and you get 350 silver airplanes per, per airport. So if you have all the airports, you're going to get 2,400 silver planes altogether. That's a 24 gold planes equivalent. And that doesn't include the achievement um, visit from Hogland, where you also get 100 uh, silver planes for reaching each of those levels. So you're going to get more than two, uh, 2,400 just for playing. But uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. I mean, that's like uh, almost an X-plane, I guess. It's not quite an X-plane yet. But still... Oh yes. This is the this is the view I like when I had when I can still click on everything. Yes. I thought they fixed this I thought this was the bug they fixed with uh, 1.5.1. So this is pretty cool cuz I can still handle all my planes while still being in this pretty awesome view. Oh. I can't hide the UI though cuz that's when I get stuck. Oh, look at its nose. <laughs> oh, snap. I'm stuck in this view. Give me that picture. Uh, let's go back to main view. All right. So we're going to handle the Concord. Then we're going to find out what its profitability looks like. I have a, a, a triple seven over here. Um, ready to take off so I'm letting it sit there this time on purpose so we can directly compare the Concorde to the triple seven see how long a flight is on a normal large plane and compare it with the Concorde oh Ethan it's midday nice okay I gotcha <clears throat> be right back Okay, let's see, who do I have here? I have Jimmy Says, Aries Mike, Fru Fru Weirdo, Nonchalant Racer, Alpha Op Wat B, and Unknown Jogger. I need to send Unknown Jogger some planes. I don't know if you guys knew this because I just found this out like last week. But if you have two fingers, which I think most of us do, and if you use two fingers on the screen at the same time and drag down, you can get like an overhead view. And if you use two fingers and drag them both up at the same time, you can kind of tilt it. So that's pretty cool. I see your post sloppy. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to have to wash my hands. I'm going to have to wash my iPad too. <clears throat> gotcha, guest. Yeah. I, I, there's a way to get... Uh, I wish like we could get into that view normally with the UI and everything. But if you don't click out of it in the right way then you're stuck there forever and the only way to get out of it is to force close the game. Oh snap, I have connections. Two for one, I love it. Oh snap, it's 840? <clears throat> Excuse me.
feel like this, the 757 is bigger than the Concorde. Is that true? Yeah, that's going on Instagram. <laughs> okay, I'm done with pictures. Uh, what do you guys, uh, let's take a look here. So Duck knew about the, the that feature I was talking about with the two fingers. Uh, Kai John asks, uh, <laughs> what, what if you have one finger? Then uh, you need to borrow someone else's. Like, hey, come here. I need your finger. Nah, don't do that. That's weird. Um, <laughs> CBMG says, I'll be back. I need food. Food is important. Uh, go get some food. What are you eating? Uh, well, you probably didn't even hear this. If you did, what are you eating? <laughs> Today is Random Visitors Day in Nagoya, Jansen says. What does that mean in real life? Bruh, one finger. <laughs> I have ten fingers. Yeah, I have ten as well. I, well, yeah. There you go. You can see all ten. Proof. I found this on the web. What the? That's weird. My Apple Watch just randomly went off. Because I said, and as well. And then it did a Google search on that or some kind of search. Really weird. Um, oh, Sloppy's a bot. So <laughs> Sloppy has no fingers. It sucks. Sorry. Uh, Ethan says, in real life, the 752 had more seats, I think. Although it's not the case in WoA. Ah, I got you. Let's see how many seats it has here. Uh, medium, seven. Well, seven fifty-seven. Where are you? Yeah, two thirty-nine, and the Concorde has what three something, three sixty. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> Uh, you know, Sloppy has 600 fingers. That's why she's able to po uh, post that Discord message so fast, right? <laughs> Over 9,000. <laughs> yeah, poor Billy. <laughs> Died by bus again. Oh, CBMG is back. What you eat, man? Mike L asks, oh, what's up, Mike? Um, Mike L asks, are you sending the Concord to a connection partner? Uh, yeah. We're going to take a look at the prices to see like what the, um, how does it compare to a seven, a triple seven with the time and the prices, uh, you know, the revenue and wallers. And uh, I'm going to send it to a connection. Oh yeah, look at my connection partner's plane coming in right over here. I got, oh, no, no skin on that. Oh, did I handle all the planes? I think so. I'm like on autopilot. I'm more focused on this Concorde. Almost there. Let's see. February 123 Gamer asks, is it weird that level in PRG from 100 plus and at a certain level it jumps up to 300? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, you're talking about this. They, they do this on a lot of airports where it's like, okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100. And it keeps going up by 10. And then you get to level 20 and it's like 300. <laughs> and it's like, whoa. That, that's when the grind is real. The, 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 the best part, though, about getting to max level is that you can have all your flights delayed and you don't lose any, like, level points because you're already at the max. Uh, Concord is almost ready, I think. Just five more seconds. Nice, Jansen. Jansen, we set Bari for a fresh start, and you're not regretting it. That's awesome. Uh, why'd you do a fresh start? <laughs> Mike, yeah, a couple of your planes made it on stream. Great timing. Also, you know, we're in the same time zone, so it's a, a nice connection. When you have a, this, you know, Prague to Leipzig, um, it's really nice because... It's 15 minutes apart. So if somebody's in the same time zone as you, like they go to sleep at the same time, they wake up around the same time, it's 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 convenient. All right, let's take a look at the Concorde um, and uh, its profit. So we're gonna look at the Concorde first, and then we have the 777 over here what we could take a look at. So to Bari, it takes 23 minutes. You get almost 3,000 Wallers. Muscat, almost two hours. Damn. San Diego, three and a half hours. So that's pretty uh, pretty quick. Even this, MXP, I think that's like 40-something minutes normally, and it's down to 14 minutes. So let's compare it to the 777s here. One hour, 12, five hours, 22. You know, of course, you're going to get more money with these other planes because they have more passengers. But uh, you can't beat that time. So... You know, it's just, I'm still gonna meet, rack up the the miles on my Concorde, but uh, wow, from 10 hours and 47 minutes to three hours and 30. That's awesome. That's great for connections. I'm looking forward to sending that to some of my connection partners. Let's see, San Diego. Even in four hours, it's too early for Unknown Jogger. I'll send it to Nagoya. And then my 777, I will send to San Diego. All right, I need to handle this plane. Whoa, what's going on? My camera's moving on its own. Do you guys see this? <laughs> oh, there's my Concord. <laughs> that was weird. Uh oh, I think it's happening again. Yo, this is something else. All right, I, this is interesting. That is a bug that's been reported. I got you. That's a pretty fun bug. I just didn't know what the heck was happening. I love that it's moving on its own. Like, I can even, like, put it over here. It's going to move on its own, it looks like. I'll just keep it on this guy. <laughs> Banana asks, can I connect with you from uh, Washington to Prague or uh, LEJ? Uh, take a look at the Discord. Um, I'm not uh, connecting to LEJ just yet, and I have a Washington connection partner here in Prague. Um, I need to message Alpha Op to find out when's their best time for me to send because uh, we've been at s s what, 68 for a while. Oh, this is so cool. 
It's like I'm on a, on a, on a, a truck, a dolly truck or something. Uh oh. Bye bye. <laughs> Wizardry. It's like, <laughs> well, that'd be pretty cool though if somebody else could like control my camera while I'm streaming. Like, all right, let's do it. It's like now I'm in runway cam, but this is like lower than runway cam. This is like an awesome like point of view. Holy cow. Mert, uh, see you later. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, now I will farm more to buy a, a giant fleet like you. <laughs> get a large plane, get an X plane, and we'll get you uh, through Washington so you can get to the next airport, man. Yeah, this is a lucky bug for sure. Uh, Guest 364. Uh-oh. Oh no! <laughs> the bug fixed itself. Damn. <laughs> but it was good while it lasted. Can I connect from in to Prague? From in to Prague. I think I have a in connection here too. But uh, check out check out the the Discord. That'll be your best way. But hey guys, I am going to go to Innsbruck real quick now, and uh, we will take a look real right there real quick. Um, so somebody wanted to see Innsbruck. I don't have enough for a comet there, but I think I have one. Yeah. But hey guys, um, let's bring Toby up here. Give me one second, let me get Toby. Toby's birthday, everybody. I gave him a nice little pretzel treat. Sorry if you hear him chewing. Toby, can I get a wolf? Come here. Can I get a wolf? Wolf. Come on, wolf. No. Well, I'll speak. Wolf. Speak. Speak. <laughs> you guys hear that? Speak. <laughs> Toby, speak. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to try one more time. Toby, speak. Uh -uh. Speak. <laughs> Speak. Come on. Give me a full speak. Speak. <laughs> speak. Speak. Alright, give me your paw. Uh -uh. Give me your paw. Yeah. Now speak. <laughs> All right. Here we go.
<laughs> I hope you guys uh, enjoyed Toby there. Toby trying to speak there. He doesn't like sp uh, speaking um, unless he's hyped up. So he'll end up giving a little growl instead. Where's the food? So he has these little pretzel treats. Oops, over here. Speak. 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 Come on, speak. Speak. <laughs> Okay, Toby, take it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Happy birthday to Toby. Toby, say bye. Can I have your paw? Yeah. Can I have your paw? Hey. Yes. Alright. Alright, guys. So, today, we unlocked the Concord. We unlocked the Comet. I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen, um, you know, with connections. Uh, if you guys are interested in uh, making a connection with me, definitely join the, the Discord because that's where I'm going to be reaching out to people um, first in order to get them connected. If you're a member in the Discord, you're going to get priority to connect with me because anytime I have an opening that I can handle on time, I'm going to send a message there. So check us out on Discord. Um, I'm going to uh, work on... You know, building up the comet, seeing what it looks like, seeing how it functions, um, seeing what its profits look like. I'm going to do the same thing with the Concord, get an idea of how it works, how it looks. And then, uh, you know, I mentioned earlier, but one of the things I'm, I'm working on right now are aircraft reviews, airplane reviews. So that way you can understand um, what how I rate each of the airplanes. So I'm going to do that for the Comet. I'm going to do it for the Concord as well. So that way you guys can make a decision if, if it's worth it and uh, if it's worth it for you. So really appreciate you all being here uh, today. I really want to uh, wish you guys a happy new year because uh, it's coming. But uh, last thing, make sure if you guys are looking to buy planes in the game, please, please, please don't forget to use your silver planes to buy a plane before December 31st, 2021 at 12 a.m. Central European time. That's gonna be really important for you because uh, it's 30% off if you use silver planes. And that's exactly how I unlocked the Comet and the Concord today. So uh, really, I really appreciate you all being here. Thanks for uh, interacting so much in chat. Sorry if I didn't get to your message, but uh, I'm gonna take a look at the replay and uh, I'll see you guys in the Discord. But for now, you guys have a great day and a happy new year. And I'll probably see you on uh, Saturday. Uh, if not, just uh, reach, reach out to me on Discord. Take care, everybody. Peace.